taking a different approach. We're right above their holes today. We're trying to get in close in this thick stuff. I'll show you in a second here. Uh, Tony didn't come out today. He said there's no chance we'll see one during the day, so I don't know. But it's a beautiful day, so I'm going to be out. fucking shaking right now let's go baby let's go that's gonna taste really good in the smoker tonight she's gonna taste real good in the smoker so but this is where the work begins gotta get down from the tree what are they like Whew. gotta get down from the tree after the nerves settle a little bit and then uh go get this prep to uh smoker let's do it all right, guys, finally down from the tree. We were all the way up there. We're gonna make our way over to him. Ugh. Going through the stuff a little bit. Gonna have to check for ticks. You can see he's been tearing stuff up the size of some of these holes back here. And he's got holes under the house, which is really why, why we're out doing some, uh, some pest control here. So let's see what we got. Ugh. All right, guys, we're back. We got it. The, uh, the groundhog out of the, out of the woods back there. Athens did, did the job right here. Um, I'll show you the broadhead a little bit. I mean, look how much, look at all the blood we got. The broadhead's intact too for a, uh, for like a $1 Amazon broadhead. She's doing pretty good. We got blood all the way up to here. So she did her job, um, but yeah, let's go to work, get her ready. Alrighty guys. We are back out here. Uh, we got our groundhog prepped. All we pretty much did was take the skin off, take the legs off with a bony scissors. So you just clip them off, take the head off, and got it. Okay, so you're left with a nice little roast. We're gonna use it to make pulled pork. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I would do with a pork butt. Uh, just some mustard down, salt, pepper, paprika, and a little bit of chili powder, give it a little spice, and uh, that's it. I mean, we're not using anything special as far as wood chips go. I think they're peat flavored. I don't think it matters. Um, and I smoke stuff pretty often, so I can't taste the difference between the different smokes, but you can certainly tell it's smoked. So here we go. Let's pop this in. All right. So I'll leave that in there for about four hours or until the internal temperature reaches 150 to 160. Um, we're only cooking at 225. So it takes a little bit. I'd plan for like 10 to 12 hours, depending on the size of the groundhog. Um, 
once it reaches 160, we're going to pull it out, wrap it in foil. At that point, we're not going to worry about putting chips back in the smoker. We're just going to put the, uh, the groundhog back in and wait until it reaches the internal temperature of 204, 205-ish. All right, guys, it's about 10 hours later. We got the finished product right here. If you want to come take a look, it's, uh, it's good. It's pretty good. Uh, I should have flipped it halfway through, and that's where I, I messed up. So it's, it's dried out a little bit, but, I mean, it's, it's still pretty good. Um, I mean, you can't beat that. It's just as good as pork, and it'll save you 15 bucks on a roast, you know? So pour up an old-fashioned, grab some barbecue sauce, and have at it.